I can't resist calling on Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> but I, I, I have to say, Bill Nye, the science guy, that your question also has to be as good as everybody else's. So. My question is about time. What is the time scale? for each side. Is it, for in geologic time, it's at least centuries, not five seasons. So that's what everybody, I think, what many people are concerned about okay. with regard to genetically modified Thank food. you. Let's take it to Margaret well, Mellon. I mean, from my perspective, uh, the time scale, you know, is something like decades. What I'm concerned about, and many scientists, is that GE crops came on the market in 1996. Monsanto and, and Rob Fraley's very talented uh, 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 molecular biologist, they're on their fifth generation now of genetically engineered corn. None of the GE corns that have been on the market have had a dominant position for more than five or six years. So we are moving from one generation of GE crops to the next, to the next, before we've even begun to understand what the impacts of the first one, uh, the first ones are. So uh, I would like to, ha to have the ability to at least do two crop rotation cycles, which might be six or eight years, to see how the farming system has, has responded. But in that time period, just that time period, the technology has changed. So you never really get a handle on what has happened. 